Hello and welcome to the Super Bits and Bobs channel. Um, new video today. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a review of um, Orcs Must Die. Now, uh, whether they must die or not, I'll tell you at the end of the review. But anyway, um, I was mucking around on Steam basically and I, I quite like the look of uh, uh, Dead Rising 2. Um, the, uh, the new one with Frank, uh, with Frank West in. <coughs> I was thinking about giving that a go, and to be honest with you, I thought to myself, well, if, uh, you know, do I really want to give Capcom another 20 quid, considering I've already played Dead Rising 2, the original. So I thought, no, I won't. Uh, I'll wait until I can pick it up a bit cheaper. But this caught my eye. Um, Orcs Must Die. Now, I did see a bit of a preview on the one of the, the websites, uh, gaming websites, and it looked interesting, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now, I've, uh, I've done a few levels just to see... Oh, I don't know what's going on there. No, we don't need to know how to play. Yeah, I've, I've, give, I've done a couple of levels just to see how we get on. I'll go back to the first level. To start off with, just so you can get some sort of idea of uh, what it's all about. Essentially, it's a tower defence game, um, but from a sort of a third-person perspective. I've so spent 300 years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs. Just let the intro video run. And defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood, and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... <clears throat> apprentice. Why do wizards always have then. long grey beards? The world is doomed. Now look at this guy. Look at that guy. It's all um, up to me I feel now. quite... I feel Rest quite well, pain actually old playing man. someone first like that. First. It's like some sort Let's of Disney God sort of hero -y generic type. Horrible. Anyway, here's the game. Now, the orcs come through this door. <coughs> These little vapour trails that you see moving. That's the route that the orcs are going to take to your rift. And the idea is for you to stop the orcs getting to the rift. Now, uh, we've, got a, we've got a crossbow. It does a couple of things. It does normal fire. And also does a bigger fire that stuns. Um, but then what we've got, if we open our spell book, uh, we can pick some spells. Uh, these are basically traps you can put down. Floor trap there, that's a good one. The arrow wall is another good one. Tar pit. Uh, wind belts, we'll give that a go. What else should we have? Uh, that's having it, uh, a boom barrel. Yeah, so you get these traps to play with, essentially. Uh, and you can place them um, on the floor. Uh, where, where, you, where, you where you think it's most likely to cause the most damage to the uh, to the four orcs, essentially. Uh, this is, level's That's very easy. You know, they only come from, from one direction. Uh, as you can see, you've got a certain amount of uh, a certain amount of uh, coinage to spend, I guess it would be called. There we go. Right, so I've run out of money. <coughs> Right, and uh, that's it basically, we're set up, there's a couple of archers here going to help me out. Nice acid pit there. Right, so let's unleash the horde. Essentially they'll just come storming through um, over your traps and you can also take pot shots at them with your... Lovely music by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's very here funky. Right, just sort of Hawk the Slayer music, I know. Very, uh, very apt. Yeah, so as you can see they just come running forward, your traps do the stuff. Cut through the, do their work, and any that get through, essentially you try and finish off with your uh, with your with your crossbow. Now the crossbow does have another another uh, attack, basically sort of stuns some guys there, as you can see. So yeah, while this might seem very simple, I've, I've sort of, you know, the, for the three or four levels I've done, it does get a bit trickier until you normally get the orcs coming through on uh, multiple paths. Oh, I didn't spend any money there. That was bloody stupid, wasn't it? Let's put a couple this more will be good. walls up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so you get multiple routes where the orcs come down, so you have more than one direction to, uh, to defend. Great game, quite, quite bloodthirsty, I have to say. <laughs> Lots of orcs splattering all over the place. Uh, the traps are great fun as well. The graphical style is really good as well as you can see. It's a bit World of Warcraft-y, I suppose, but <coughs> quite a lot of character there.
can do headshots as well. Okay, so we've got a uh, 10 seconds for the next wave. Yeah, now I can't see anything getting through there. Here they come. Yeah, looking around, it's a, quite a nice looking game, I have to say. Nicely detailed. Great music as well. I mean, the music really is, is quite good, up, you know. It's really sort of, sort of 80s fantasy film kind of stuff. Marches don't seem to do much at the moment, I don't think. Yeah, but I don't think on this level we're really going to get through much at all. As you go through the levels, you pick up different um, different traps. You, you traps upgrade as well. Um, you can upgrade the traps to different levels, do different things. On my spike pits there, I've upgraded them so they slow the enemy down a bit when they're walking across them. I've tried the wind belt there. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> First time I tried that, the wind belt. That seems quite overpowered actually, because you just you just keep blowing them back and they fall into the trap, surely. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah. <laughs> It doesn't use much magic either. <laughs> Let's change back, that's a bit easy that. So I can see the belt coming in handy when you're trying to control uh, multiple directions. This is why I'm not sure about the whole orcs must die thing. Personally, that human must die. It's just that horrible, oh, hero-y, sicky kind of thing going on. Horrible. Anyway. Let's continue on. Right, now what I'll do... There are two doors here on this level. But ultimately, there's only one route through to the... Uh, oh, the Paladin Guardian bloke. Coolio. What I'll do, I'm going to quit out. Let's go to the campaign menu. And we'll go on to... Right, the baths are the level that I was just about to do. <coughs> I've done three levels so far. This is the fourth one. Hmm. Now on Not this level, to work with here. Uh, oh, on this level, on this level, there's a, the there's a couple the of rift. couple of routes here on this level, but and uh, as he said, it's only quite a short. It's only quite a short walk to the rift. So let's open the spell book. What should we have? Oh, having that belt, that was awesome. That was okay. Now this is the first choke point. So we will ah, how am I doing? Right, open the spell book, that's it. This just doesn't seem fair. Um, let's put some floor traps down. There we go. <coughs> One there, I've got six hundred left. Um, a little present for you. Let's do that. And see One for you and one for you. Now once they do eventually start come getting through that point, there's two ways they can go, so We'll have to see how it goes, but let's unleash the horde. <coughs> Maybe I should start. Oops. There they come. Oh, they're definitely a bit more spread out this time. Oh, no! This level certainly needs a bit more involvement on my part. It's a lot of bloody orcs as well. Holy moly. Still, it looks like the first wave coming to an end. I better put some. Uh, didn't get much gold there for the new trap. Which is a bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, spell book. What do we need? Oh, uh, God. Let's put two of these down. Okay. <coughs> Might try the belt this time to start getting through. I've seen there, there's some ar archers there just coming up, I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're the only different monsters I've seen so far, I'm not sure if you get different creatures coming through. Um, 
but yeah, we've got some archers there. Oh, I've just got hit. Oh, yeah, we seem to be doing a, a few extra wall traps and should be uh, helping out Julio. Yeah, so th this is essentially it. Um, it's uh, As you go through levels, you get extra traps. Um, you can power them up. I'm assuming you can get different items as well, other than just the... Uh, oh, hang on a sec, let me just... Uh, let's put a bit more down. What should we do? A couple more floor traps. Spike trap things. Just there. Okay, let's see how that goes. <coughs> yeah, basically it's a tower defence game with you sort of down on us. I've never played on... I love tower defence games, but I've never played this sort before, where you're actually down amongst the action. And it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, it really is. It's got everything you expect from a tower defence game, upgrading your traps and all that kind of thing, and your uh, towers and whatnot. Potion there, there's a little health potion. If your health goes down, you can use that. That's a massacre here. Oh, they're getting a bit close though. Boy. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, they're broken through. Alright, okay. Um. Ah, so I've unleashed a horde. So um, I've got a bit of a break here, so I've got time to set up my next uh, my next lot of traps. I guess I probably need to go around here, don't I? Uh, let's put a wall, a couple of wall traps there. I wonder if maybe I uh, maybe I sort of um, re really put some strong stuff down on one side, uh, and then I'll kind of cover the other side. Let's see how it goes. You can sell traps, as well, I don't know if you noticed that, but you can sell your traps. Get your money back if you want to change things. I'm not sure, I haven't seen anywhere where it tells you how long your traps take to regenerate. Um, so they're using it again. I'll have to check into that, maybe it something doesn't tell you. I'm sure you can count it, I guess. <laughs> it certainly seems to come back enough there though, no problem. Well, they all kind of think they have my chance to pull them over. 